Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the great state of Colorado. More specifically, we are in Denver, Colorado. And even more specifically than that, we are at Meow Wolf Convergence Station. This is the third uh, Meow Wolf permanent art environment that has been created. Of course, there's House of Eternal Return in Santa Fe, New Mexico. There is Omega Mart in Las Vegas. And now the third entry, Meow Wolf Convergence Station. Actually, there's going to be a fourth Meow Wolf opening up in uh, Grapevine, Texas. I actually just announced a few days ago be being open on July 14th of this year. So I'm pretty excited about that. But in the meantime, I thought we'd stop back in here at Convergence Station. Again, I visited just a few days after they opened. It was September of 2021. They've been open for just a couple days and I managed to get out here to, uh, to, to see it, experience it when it was brand new. And I'm very excited to check back in and see how things are going here at Meow Wolf. Again, all the Meow Wolves, are, are, I, I love all the Meow Wolves. I think I actually, yeah, I have a Meow Wolf pin on my hat. A huge fan of the concept, a huge fan of the installations. I always love an opportunity to stop by and check these out. So please follow me. Side here you can see a very interesting building it's built up in between this empty patch on the freeway it was very very yeah I see the car go by a very effective use of space it was kind of like this empty lot here in between two pieces of the elevated freeway there and so they built the building snug right in the middle now each one of the meow wolf installations has its own theme the one in santa fe is a house that can you can transfer to another dimension in uh, las vegas there's omega mart which is kind of a twisted grocery store here at convergence station you have four dimensions converging on each other you enter through like a public transit system connecting dimensions all right let's head inside all right, so I guess try to figure out which uh, dimension we want to enter here at the uh, the transit station. See the statues here, this antlered figure. I guess that's the Q dot symbol on their chest, which is the transportation system in between dimensions. Very interesting artwork here. All right, I think we're gonna start here at uh, C Departures and head to C Street. Hi there, Hello. Hi. Anybody else? Anybody else? <laughs> Good party. Bye. Bye. All right, have you been here before? Uh, once a while back when oh, it first fantastic. opened. Okay. Thank you, yes, man. All right. There's so much to take in right off uh, the bat here. See this booth here. Get some sort of meat booth. Is uh, blue meats, different meats down there. Here is the ballot blaster. You vote. They have a, they have a, they have a uh, here on C Street. They have a election for mayor every 15 minutes. Are you gonna vote, Jen? I am. I'm gonna go with this guy. What is it, Staracha? Yeah, I love this first section here in C Street. It's like a full uh, full street environment, different storefronts there. You can see hanging laundry up there above us and a starry sky. Is it 
noticed up here on the on the light pole there's there's an eyeball right there. It just turned. So look at it, you can see him. See it see it turn and move there? Oh boy. Uh, all the all the little eyes there peeking in different directions. See here in the middle of C Street we have Mr. Horner. Corner store in here. See them selling. Oh, and you look back in there, you see items. Items from uh, Omega Mart. The uh, Las Vegas version of Meow Wolf there in the back. Now this guy is very interesting. So many little things to look at. Hello. Greetings, Arthur. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you as well, Spaceman. Now look at this figure here in the window. It says Zor Astro there at the top. We are at the movie theater. Check out this guy here. This epic follows the rise of the legendary navigator pilot. Silverthorn on his quest to save his family. Is he talking about a, a movie of some sort? The Scooping popcorn. I think there's a boop spot there. Right there, do you want to boop it, Jen? Looking for something more tasteful than the mainstream superhero blockbuster? Hey, it's okay with me. Come on in. Go over here. That's, this is the concession stand right here, and uh, go into the movie theater here. See what they're they're playing in here. Embraced as a normality. I think they're about to announce the results of the uh, the election. But just uh, every think every 15 minutes, they, they elect a new mayor. So the new mayor is Staracha. 55% of the vote. Is that who you voted for? I did. Yay! Staracha. New mayor. Yay! Yay! Here we have the window of the uh, the pet store. Here almost looks like papered over or abandoned. Looks like there's a fish in that bag. The bag of pet gel there in the back. There's some sort of creature in there, like some sort of flower-like creature in a cage. But in here we can see the hamster running in the wheel. And of course, those of you familiar with Meow Wolf, the hamster is a part of the uh, the storyline for uh, House of Eternal Return in Santa Fe. We have this levitating car here on the middle of C Street. Interesting dancing puppets here in the uh, in the window. We got some robots dancing. I don't know who, who that is. That woman has uh, has four arms. And some, it's like some dinosaurs up there on the top. Very interesting truck right here. We're gonna do you wanna get in there, Jen? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll be your. Uh, You'll be my passenger. I think there's like a garbage truck here of some sort. Oh no, the check check engine lights on. That's not that's a good way to start out. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, we're right here on the middle of. Uh, C Street. Yes, this is our side view mirror there. That's interesting. Is this a garbage truck? I don't know. What do the buttons do? A futuristic garbage truck of some sort. It's almost like some sort of like DJ pad here. Yeah. Making different music.
smashing buttons. Okay, I think I was mistaken. I thought this was a garbage truck. It's actually a street sweeper. There, you can see the brush. Just cleaning up some garbage there. I'm not sure what this is here. This alley has like a video game like slot machine. What, what, okay. What's happening? Jen standing here next to me. What, what's happening, Jen? Oh, we move. We lean. We can move the bar at the bottom. Oh, oh, oh. So it's like Pong. We sway back and forth with our body and try to erase all the. Oh. Oh. oh, did you get all your shit? Oh. I'm working on it. Oh, I still got a little corner apart there. Oh, I won! Oh, no! I beat you. This room here has a very uh, spooky vibe to it. Look at this guy right here. It's very spooky stuff on the wall there. Entering this hallway here it is composed of all these tiny radios. Looks like some of them have little tableaus inside. Some clouds and buses there. Oh, this one has King Kong crawling up inside the speaker there. Once we'll you look up, you can see Kong crawling all the way up there to the top as he gets bigger. A lot of interesting little details there. You can see that's a little, little zoo in there. You see some zoo animals. Oh, it looks like the zoo animals are escaping. You can see the monkeys and lions leaving there. Big bus here, Sun Valley, it says. You can see all the trash there underneath it. It's actually like trash surrounding the whole bus here. Actually, maybe we should uh, peek inside the bus. Inside the bus here. So we can head out the back hatch here. Watch your head. Just look at this room in here. There's like drums up there. There's a piano on the wall. Oh, here it goes. You look straight up. You can hear the bells, see the bells. Back in this, over oh, here. This backward sink here. I think there's a little plant growing up through the drain. And uh, looking in the dishwasher here, see it's got CDs and rocks and mallets. And down there, we have a uh, little dinosaur. Cooler right there. And as you look up, you see there's uh, some prosthetic legs, it's a wheelchair, this rotating ball here, as well as some some uh, lockers up there. And I'm really not sure what's uh, what's happening in this biker leg. Piano. Piano's 
playing itself. It's a two-story houseboat in here. We can, we can peek inside the uh, cabin here. Oh, look at that, uh, that gnome there. Okay, I've been looking at this desk here, and they're talking about the Yulp, Y-A-W-L-P, of this monster here, almost like a cryptid. You can see all these drawings and different interpretations of the Yulp, these children's drawings of the Yulp. Help, help, it's the Yelp. Eight foot tall talking monster from outer space. Yes, yeah, so I guess whoever worked here in this boat was obsessed with stalking the Yelp. All these writings are about the Yelp. You can see the Yelp drinking Convergence Cola there. <laughs> I guess this would be a footprint of the Yelp. Yelp mask. Yeah, that gnome himself is a version of the Yelp. I love the Yelp. So we'll head upstairs here. Yeah, from up here, you can look down onto C Street there. There's the street sweeper. Oh, it's the Yelp! The Yelp! It's covering. Oh no! Oh no! The Yelp! 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 Oh, the Yelp is trying to get away? Trying to get away! Oh, where's the Yelp going? Bye, Yelp! Old timey laundromat here. I don't know if we can maybe get these started. Oh yeah, there you go. See the bricks rotating there. Some metal faces. I guess you can get these all going here. But like those little, I guess those are like little seam. Oh yeah, you see like a little seam there. This uh, dispenser of laundry detergent here, but it's actually a secret pathway. Where am I? Is there more secret passageways in the, the walls here? Or is this just sort of laundry based nightmare here. Oh yeah, I thought okay, yeah, this is this is just where we are now. Alright, I think I think we need to escape back into the laundromat. Back here, some very interesting uh, faces coming out of the wall. Skeleton over here. It's like a frog. Don't know where this is taking us. Over here, it looks like we can 
look down on the chapel here. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Going to the ceiling, you can see the solar system being projected. here to see the chapel. There's the different robots here as well. I just look up the tall ceilings here. This like transformer-like robot. Inside the chapel here. There's some sort of organ in the middle. Some interesting statues there along the sides. The stained glass. It's like a walrus-like person with a third eye and a mop bucket. Yeah, it's hard to see where one, uh, one dimension begins and one dimension ends back this way. This room here is pretty amazing. I think this is like a, almost like an art gallery of sorts. Hello. Hello. So basically, uh, these are all memories. We have some memories here from Earthlings. If you want to create one of your own, you can and okay. then trade it for one of the ones I have. All right, so I create my own memory. That's right. And then I can trade it. All done? Yeah. Let me see. All right, here I've created a memory of the time that I was bitten by a camel. All done? I'm done. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you said a camel? Yeah, I was bitten by a camel. Oh, what a memory. I love that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right, so feel free to choose between our convergence themed memes here, or you can take oh, I want the, the I want the Yalp there. Ooh, Yalp. Amazing <laughs> choice. Thank you, Thank you. See this statue back here. This is one of the more amazing rooms here. Look at this. The rotating head there. The clown, the hot dog. Oh boy. Oh, look at the, the rotating hot dog there. Oh my gosh. See this guy shoving the uh, giant hot dog in his mouth. Look at there. Rotating clown head. So like clowns on springs, like little uh, carnival punks that you'd knock off. The birds flying. This little bird on the chair there. So make our way through this bird themed hallway here. Oh, I think we found Another dimension. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, it's this giant llama-like creature. Oh, the ceiling's so high. Here it's the different levels, different uh, animals. Ducked into this cave here. You can see the different uh, animals and creatures here, the different faces. people in that mouth. See the waterfall flowing down the side here. We'll head upward into the canopy. There's some very strange and unique creatures here. 
<laughs> in this dimension is that like a giant strawberry sort of multi-armed creature here see this creature here the strange hoofed creature the strange tentacle head just look at this see the jellyfish floating through the air there's that big llama like creature we saw coming in some little uh animals over there see these little things attached to the tree here well, you can see this section here probably about three stories at least this structure here in the middle yeah as you're walking through here you just got to keep your eye out for strange organisms look at that that thing right there. The strange noises filling the air. Look at this little guy skittering along the trees. His blue eyes. Yeah, we, we caught a glimpse of the Yelp earlier. I'm not sure uh, where the Yelp normally hides. There's another strange creature there. All those arms and all those heads. There's a door over here. Oh, where are we? There are some strange creatures in here as well. Looks like some sort of deep sea fish monster right there. And look over here. Buffalo nodding their heads. Oh, see the little, little things popping up. They bow their heads. Oh, I notice there's like little places, there are little cages, I guess, where people can stick their heads up. All right, so I guess we need to crawl underneath and we can poke our heads up through the cages. Here, crawling on my hands and knees, get underneath one of these cages, then I'll stand up. Oh yeah, see the cow and the buffalo there. It's like little prairie dogs. All here to the next cage. Oh. All right. Pop our heads up here. Oh, what's that? That wasn't a prairie dog. I think it's like some monster with a bunch of teeth. Oh yeah, look at it. Do you see that? Close to the cow there. Oh, the night night just fell. Oh, jeez. Does that thing pop out? Oh, it's night when the scary things pop out of the holes. Oh, there, look at that. The little skull monster. Oh, good. The sun, the sun came back up. Oh, it's got prairie dogs. Oh, look, there's even a little jackalope there in the back. Look at that happy little prairie dog. Push through this door here, see where we end up. We're back on C Street, where we started. Like I said, the dimensions are folding in on each other, so it's difficult to keep track exactly what dimension you're in or you might just cross back over in to a dimension you've already been to well, let's go away we have not gone before so we head down this staircase here let's see that is za a, a human slice 
of pizza, the Pizza Pals Play Zone. So headed down into the Pizza Pals Play Zone here. You can see very similar to the old Chuck E. Cheese logo there. Maybe some inspiration taken. It says Rocky Mountain Delicious. Nice, the pizza there shaped like a giant lump. I guess it's supposed to be like a Rocky Mountain. It says, meet your new pals. There's Hungry Salad Barb instead of Salad Bar. There's Pony Pepperoni, Paw Peroni, Good Time Wizard, Hungy, DA Breadsticks. He's like a district attorney. And Deliver Eddie, who's a car. Yeah, I think this section here has like its own deep lore from this, uh, this pizza company and strange mascots. Yeah, there's DA Breadsticks. I'll book you for excessive chomping. Oh, look at this. Look at these characters. They are pretty amazing. I think this must be the founder here, Pete Pop. The more pizza you eat, the more successful I get. And look at this. He ended up on the cover of Rich Man Monthly. There's the original Hungy. Look up and see the Hungy costume there on the wall. Trees are just talking about crazy, just crazy stuff. What's this button here, dude? The buttons are fun. Keep pressing the button. So the buttons are fun. Keep pressing the button. Yeah. What's that? I mean, I was talking to my friend. Do you mind? No, he's mad. Just messing around. Okay. You're cool. This guy here has a, has a button. Okay. Have so you checked out our eternal ball pit? There's the uh, the eternal ball pit is down there. That's all peek inside. What's in the ball pit? Oh, is that uh, that's DA breadsticks down there in the balls? You see this this altar here made of pizza boxes. This uh, shrine to this pizza creature here. Oh, there's some uh, buttons. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Some sort of video game back in here. See, there's like a pizza here as a control pad. There's like a trackball here. Oh, okay, so you're like a ball of rats. A rat king, if you will. Oh, we get the pizza? Oh, there's a pizza pyramid. Oh, this is strange. Bounce on some cheese, he says. I'm gonna go to the cheese to bounce. There we go. Bounce on the cheese. There's some cheese that we can bounce on. It's a very unique video game. All right, says so see you soon. Thanks for exiting the Pizza Pals Play Zone. And uh, drink some sort of Crystal Cavern here. Oh, okay. where are we now? There's a bench made out of garbage there. See this, some skateboards and this uh, fun uh, punk rat character. What's in here? Some uh, 
strange helmets. Got this soda machine here. Looks like he's wearing a, a leather jacket. Try our, our Q dot pass. Here to boot them. Hey, Dweebo, you rocks material? You wanna help Vendel? Yeah, sure you do. Take that man, my boy, on your car to my bud zone on C Street. Homie never tips me over anymore. They got him slinging soda in his cineplex and a whole bucket of bolts. Can't miss him. Oh, he's talking about the, uh, he's talking about the, 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 the robot at the, uh, at the movie theater. Yeah, there's that rat character again, sitting on a pile of trash. Looks like there's some brass knuckles, a donut there, a game, a couple Game Boys, a Metro car, and one of those uh, Asian waving cats. And we have this rat fighting game. There's two rats in there. I guess a start to fight there. All right, gotta get our. Oh, there's someone else over. Another side. So we got a fight there. Swinging baseball bats at each other. Got to try to control it either this thing here. I don't know if they've landed that many hits on uh, on each other. Sculpture here, not sure uh, whose head that is. Check out these sculptures over here. Well, that one's fairly terrifying. This is some sort of insect cow creature. Entered some sort of library here. You see the pile of books. Like a little cave full of books here. You can see all these books full of lore. Yeah, it would, it would take some, it would, like I said, it would take some studying and effort to kind of nail down all the lore, the entire story here of what is going on at the Convergence. But here we can see, okay, these are actually, it's a map of the different uh, different dimensions. This is uh, Ossuary, Emia, and Immensity all swirling together. This is kind of what we're traversing. Here in this bell jar, you can see that's actually the giant robot we saw by the, uh, by the chapel. This book here has some of the animals that we saw in the forest it talks about the uh all the creatures that live here yeah, just tons of little easter eggs connecting the different things there is that rat that we saw earlier but here he is uh here he's he's like he's, he looks like garfield see this big archway of books here a little nook where you can sit and just be surrounded by literature. Uh, this little sloth here, he's, uh, he's got a little bow tie. Keep winding up back here in the forest. I think we'll head through this uh, pathway here. All right, looks like we've wound up some sort of mirror maze here. I'm not sure if this is the entrance or the exit. Okay, we're back in the back in the rat alley here. All right, not seen the not seen this room yet. It's got this glowing structure in the middle. Very unique artwork here. It's a little, little play phone sticking out of the wall. It's a flower right there. Frisbee back this way. Okay, there's all these physical objects embedded. We got a little Superman. There's a little metal house right there. It's like a mailbox. 
with like a squid-like creature. And there's a keyboard of a cat's head there. We'll head back in this creepy alley here. Oh yeah, look at that. Some sort of octopus-like creature here behind the fence. What is that? It's like there's some places to peek into here. Oh, what am I looking at? There's little figures carrying things, a pizza, a fish, the moon. What's that? There's a train station covered in slime. Let's see what's here inside. Saz? Saz lawn? Oh, it's a salon, like a salon, like where you get your hair cut. Seems like one of those old hair drying machines. Oh, what's happening in here? the security security room here you can see you can see all over uh, the, the convergence station here there's the uh, laundry room some of these security cameras are other places you see in the back of this car here it's like a spinning potato maybe Before we leave the Convergence Station, we should uh, check out the gift shop. Here we have plushies and characters that we've seen. Of course, this is the Meow Wolf itself, the, uh, the, the mascot for all the Meow Wolf environments. You can see it's a wolf and a cat combined. And then we see some of the animals on the forest. So the forest I picked up on is called Numia. So these are animals from Numia. We have the... Uh, the uh, pizza creature that we saw in the pizza playhouse. Oh, there's that little uh, sloth with the bow tie. And this right here, these are slippers of the uh, street sweeper in, uh, on C Street. I do like this uh, Pizza Pals Play Zone shirt. Here they have some of the Omega Mart merchandise for sale. The Cherry Blitz that has legs like a giraffe for some reason. And the Lemon Frenzy. Look at this, this is the Vista Boss. This is a, a Meow Wolf viewfinder. Oh, there's one on display there. That I guess shows different scenes that we uh, saw today here at Meow Wolf Denver. So thank you for joining me here today at Meow Wolf Convergence Station. Like I said, the last time I was here was 2021. It was a blur back then. It was so overwhelming and overstimulating. And it was once again, overwhelming and overstimulating. Like I said, there's so many levels to this. You can come here, you can just enjoy the scenery. You can take selfies. You can uh, just enjoy the environment or you can dig a little deeper. You can get and get the, the Q Pass. This was a $3 add on, and you have to add a little bit to the adventure. There's so much lore here. Like I said, there's a the lore of the dimensions coming together, but also there's like other lore mixed in, like the Yalp, the mysterious creature, which I did spot the Yalp, although the Yalp got away pretty quick. It was jumped in an elevator and uh, and snuck away, but uh, I'll, I'll find you next time, Yalp, if you're, if, <laughs> if you're somewhere. Uh, out there but uh, yeah i love this i love i love all the three meow wolf uh installations i'm definitely looking forward to the new installation coming to texas it's july 14th is opening day i'm gonna see about getting out there uh, as soon as possible to experience the uh, the brand new meow wolf exhibit 
And uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country, I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. Also, let me know something here, if you've made it this far in the video. So, Meow Wolf, uh, last time I came to this location, they told me not, that I couldn't use my camera that I normally use, that it was too professional, I think they said. Whatever. But I, uh, they, they told me to, that I could use my phone. And last time I used my phone, I wasn't very happy with, with how it turned out. I do have a better phone now. So leave a comment in the comment section on um, how you think this video turned out. If uh, that looks good on the phone or if this whole thing looks like a bunch of crap. Just be honest. Let me know. And of course, uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, as well as doing uh, cameos. Cameos, personalized messages, birthdays, anniversaries, just for fun. All the information for that is in the description of this video. And all that helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Till next time, my friends. This one's in the bag.